All right, today we're going to do a demonstration video on how to uh, measure ripple and make sure that you're doing it right on a battery bank system. So what we have here, constructed here in this monstrosity is four batteries in series. They're just fire alarm batteries. That's not really a, a crucial part of the test. And then the, the voltage of those batteries is measured right here on this meter. And so right now, with no charger, it's at 51.48 volts. It's dropping a little bit because we just had the charger on a second ago. We're going to use this Variac, this variable voltage supply, as a charger. And, uh, and I'll flip it on. You can see battery voltage goes up just a little bit. And you can see that we also have ripple current measured in series. So this is the actual live ripple voltage. This is, this is measured directly in series with, with it. And then um, we're going to test clamp-on methods measuring ripple. So there are, uh, you could, usually when you buy a battery tester, like this Byte 3 right here, they would have a, a CT that comes with it and you can measure it. Um, you could also use a CT, like a clamp on CT to measure this, but you have to make sure that you know your equipment properly. So we have three different CTs here and the two of them are not, there's this FLIR one, it goes directly to its own meter. And then you have these two over here that are, we can only plug in one at a time. So right now you've got the one plugged in and it's showing, um, it's showing, uh, what is it, 60 milliamps. And that's this one right here. And then this one is not plugged in yet, but we'll get there in a second. This one right here, though, is double wrapped. So anything that it meters is going to be twice as high. So right now we're sitting at around 95, almost 100 milliamps of ripple. And we're sitting at double right now so we're we're pretty much we're pretty much spot on with that but if you go down on the on the this is the actual ripple and i'll zoom out so we see battery voltage at the same time on the left we're going to go down to around 50 milliamps and so that's your actual ripple voltage on the battery bank right there about 50 milliamps the charger level's gone down a little bit but you see now this is this is still relatively about the same with a double wrap. I did a triple wrap and it gets even more accurate, obviously. Um, but if you look, this is saying it's 53 milliamps and that's this clamp, but we're only reading about 30 milliamps. And so I'm gonna pull back a little bit and show you that even though the FLIR is pretty accurate most of the time, especially on the low ranges, it's not very accurate when you get down to around 30 milliamps of ripple. So it shows absolutely zero. It only really starts to register about 0.1, um, 0.1 through the CT. So if it's a double wrap, that's 50 milliamps. If it's a triple wrap, that's 33 milliamps that it can meter. Um, and it's still, it's not very accurate. But these this, these clamp-ons right here, this is a 400 and this is a 200 amp. And, and these clamp-ons don't measure very accurate at all. And they're they're just a single pass through. So we're at we're at about 100 mil milliamps again, and this is not reading. It's reading essentially the same. But if I unplug it, it'll say the same thing. Um, 200 milliamps right there, and we're just starting to to meter a little bit, even though it's 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 definitely off. So we'll swap to the other clamp right now. And it says 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. It looks like it's starting to stabilize. And we're still at 150 over there. So it takes a little bit to stabilize on that one. I don't know if it's because magnet says on the CT. I'm going to move this up to get a little bit better shot. So it's about accurate right there. If you go back down to 80, it starts to fall. But it's still not... It's not nearly as quick or responsive and it, it could lead you to false measurements so um, know your equipment if you're trying to measure a very small you know uh, milliamp like 100 you know 100 milliamps which is 0.1 amps don't use a 400 a 0 to 400 ct it's it's pretty much well outside the range so that's it